isn't a question as much as a commentary that I have on the idea of adjustment as a creative response. So, like I find when we are working with these um, with these experiments, it's really all about adjustment. And that's the word that keeps coming to mind with it, where like in our creative processes, we are the 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 whole idea of being in a creative process is that you're are repeatedly fixing actions and making different choices in response to what you're seeing. It's this constant adjustment. I feel like that, you know, that helps sort of me to recognize when I'm being a little bit too like rigid about something. It's like, okay, this is all about adjustment. This is all about like, how can I kind of respond to what I'm learning from these stitches and from this experience and being like, okay, I, I, I need to adjust this to be a little bit more, you know, maybe using a thicker thread or <laughs> um, things like that. All right, and here I talk about my perspective on when I don't like what I'm stitching, especially when I'm working on a sampler or some sort of little test of stitches. When we have these experiences, you know, with stitches, with when I, this is why I love working with these little like sample materials is because I'm able to have this like experience with them where if I don't like what I've made, that don't like feeling doesn't have to be like full of emotion. That don't like is just information. It's just feedback where I'm like, oh, I don't really like the way that looks. I don't have to be attached to that. You know, I can kind of allow that to just be what it is and just like move on with it. And I think that's kind of, that's what I love about creativity in general and, and working with arts is like, it's, it's constant adjustment. So that's definitely, yeah, adjustment. Um, and yeah, and understanding it as feedback, understanding these things as information, so.